This recording is going to talk about doing order of operations, or what we call GEMDOS. You might have heard it called PEMDOS, but I prefer GEMDOS, because the G used to be P for PEMDOS, which was parentheses. But really, it could be any kind of grouping symbol, so I like the G better. All right, so why do we have group order of operations? Well, if you look at this example, 2 times 3 squared, there's several ways you could do it. You could think of that as 2 times 3 and then square it, or you could think of it as 2 times 3 squared. If I take 2 times 3 and then square it, that's going to give me 6 squared, which is 36. So this says 2 times 3 squared, which is 9, and 2 times 9 would be 18. Totally different answer. So we need an order of operations so that everybody does the same thing in the same order and we'll all get the same answer. So let's look at a couple of examples. Remember, G means grouping symbols. So I look over here and I have grouping symbols right here, but the only thing it has in it is a 9, so I don't have to worry about working inside the grouping symbols. E means exponent, and I don't have any exponents in this problem. And then M and D are both green. That means that we multiply and divide from left to right. It doesn't matter which one comes first. So I have a multiplication right here. In fact, I'm going to do it in green so that we see that that's what we're supposed to be doing here, is the multiplying and dividing. So we have 3 plus, and then 2 times 9 is 18. Now we've done all the multiplication and division, and we're ready to go and do the addition subtraction and again you do this from left to right so we just have one addition here so 3 plus 18 is going to be 21 so let's try the next problem again we have to start with grouping symbols and we don't have any and then we look at exponents and there's no exponents in this problem and then we're going to do multiplication and division as we go across so I have to do this multiplication before I can do that division or that multiplication right there. So 8 times 3 is going to be 24. And then I will divide that by 6. And then I actually will subtract. And then I will have 2 times 2. Okay, so this is what we found. Now we're ready to do this part. So 24 divided by... 6 is going to be 4, and then I'm going to subtract, and I can do this multiplication. So I'm going to subtract the 2 times 2, which is 4, and then when I subtract 4 minus 4, I get 0. If you can remember, you may want to put this at the top of your paper. If you can just keep remembering that and work from left to right, you should be able to get these. Let's look at another set of examples. All right, we don't have the GEMDAS up there, so let me get that up there. So grouping symbols, we have that right here. So let me just rewrite this problem. One-fifth times whatever we get there, cubed, minus three-fifths is going to be equal to something. So in here, eight minus six is going to be two. And then we have the next thing that we would have had would be exponents. And we have an exponent right here. So if I recopy my problem, I have one-fifth. And then I'm going to do the two cubed. And two cubed would be, and this is still multiplying though, one-fifth times this. Two cubed happens to be eight. And then following the rest of the problem, minus three-fifths. And then we had multiply and divide. And I have a multiplication right here. So 1 fifth times 8. Remember, we can write this as 8 over 1. So 8 times 1 is 8. And 5 times 1 is 5. So 8 fifths minus our 3 fifths. So we're done with our multiplication and division. And then last, we had addition and subtraction. And we have a subtraction right here. So 8 fifths minus 3 fifths, or 8 minus 3 over fifths, because they're all fifths. We have 5 over 5, or 1. All right.
they just keep getting more complicated because when we do grouping symbols let me just write it here grouping symbols means that we are going to do um, grouping symbols that's what the G means and then we have to do it from the inside out so you want to do the innermost ones first so if you look at this we have brackets and we have an absolute value and we have parentheses the parentheses are the innermost okay so we have to do that part first so 2 and then 11 minus 4 absolute value 8 minus 3 and then just so that you can see that that's what we're doing right now I'm going to do that in red and then absolute value and bracket so inside there 5 minus 3 is going to be 2 we still have grouping symbols so we have to do G again we had a grouping symbol here and we still have a grouping symbol so we would do our innermost first so we're going to do this part right here but inside there this is a really complicated problem inside there we have to look at our multiplication all right so let's see what we can do here two bracket 11 minus four absolute value which is a grouping symbol and then eight minus and I have to do my multiplication. Okay, in fact, I'm going to do that in green since we're used to multiplication being green. And 3 times 2 is 6. And then our absolute value and our bracket. All right, so now we have to, again, we have a grouping symbol here that we have to deal with. Right here. So if we continue writing the problem, 2 times 11, or times a bracket, 11 minus 4 absolute value, and then we're going to fill that in. And when we fill that in, it's an addition or subtraction, so 8 minus 6 is 2. Okay, we subtracted, so we got that. And now we have another grouping symbol because we've taken care of the absolute value but we still have this bracket okay so this grouping symbol at the beginning was a parenthesis and then we had the absolute value but we had to keep working on the absolute value and now we're going to do the bracket so we have writing our problem 2 bracket 11 minus 4 absolute value of 2 bracket just to make it look simpler we should, should do this part right here first and remember that the absolute value of 2, I'm just going to come in here. When we take it, the absolute value of 2, what is the absolute value of 2? The absolute value of 2 is 2. So it's really times 2. And then that's a multiplication that we need to do next. Because inside the parentheses or the brackets or whatever your grouping symbols are, you have to follow the Jim Doss again until you get that simplified. So we have 2 bracket 11 and then minus and 4 times 2 is going to be 8 so we have we're still dealing with our grouping symbol and now we can do the subtraction inside there oops I meant that to be green so we have rewriting the problem 2 and then inside this bracket we're going to do our subtraction 11 minus 8 is 3 and then we have our multiplication which is 2 times 3 equals 6 one last problem wow look at this so for our grouping symbols we have a square root and we have a division bar which equals division so those are the first things that we have to do so we're going to take care of simplifying. We have to do all of this first. And then we'll go from there. So 10 minus, and then we have the square root. And you'll notice there's an exponent in here and there's multiplication in here. So we've got a couple things going on here. We've got, I'm going to write it in 
color so that we know what we're going to do. So 10 squared is our exponent. Minus will be our subtraction. Oops, that should have been purple. Minus is going to be subtraction. And then we have 4 times 2 times 8. And then we've got our grouping symbol. Actually, this was a grouping symbol. And then we've got our 2 times 8. So let's go and see what we can do. 10 minus. And then we still have a square root. And if we do our 10 squared, that's 100. And then subtract. And then I'm going to do these two at a time. So 4 times 2 is 8 times 8 all over. And you're kind of doing several things at a time because we did it in colors. And you might want to just do it in dark pencil and light pencil or something to that effect. Or bring some colored pencils. I'm just going to leave this 2 times 8 down here. We're just dealing with the grouping symbol right now. So continuing on, 10 minus the square root of, we've got our 100, and we're going to subtract the 8 times 8, which is 64. And then that's a grouping symbol. This up here, if I wanted to really follow my colors, the division sign is a grouping symbol. And then I've got 2 times 8. So continuing on. 10 minus the square root of 100 minus 64, and that happens to be 36, and then divided by 2 times 8. So if we follow along, we're going to need some more space here, we've got 10 minus the square root of 36 now is 6 and then divided by and 2 times 8. We'll do that one next. Okay, so now we're ready to do our multiplication and division because we've done the grouping symbols, we've done the exponents. This is a multiplication. The division here, actually, we have to take care of the subtraction on the top we have to take care of the multiplication on the bottom and then we can actually do the division because we need it to be simplified. This means simplify the top, grouping symbol, simplify the bottom. So we have 10 minus 6 which is going to be 4 and 2 times 8 is going to be 16 and then we finally get to divide that and 4 divided by 16 is actually 1 over 4. And there you have it.